Hello there, Hugh here. Welcome to my bench once again. And in this flight time tutorial, I'm going to tell you a caddis larva pattern, simply called a green caddis larva. So I figured I'd give this guy a tie up for you this time around. So we'll get this guy the vise, a hook in, and I'll get started here for you. The hook we're using is a TMC 2487. I'm tying it on a size 12. So I'll get that locked in the vise here. Just like so, there we go. And this guy is weighted, so I want to put some wraps on here. And I'm using 0.15 lead wire, small lead wire. So we're going to wrap the middle of the shank up on this guy. I'm going to cover pretty well most of the shank here. Okay, we'll stop there. And we'll come back and wrap back down a little ways here. And stop right there and snip it off. Okay, and I'm going to squeeze those thread wraps together and I want that down on the shank a little bit more right about there is where I want it okay that should be fine right there now our thread is UTC 70 black 70 denier and I'm gonna start right in front of the lead here make a few wraps and I'm gonna jump on top of that lead here work back till we get behind the lead I'll make a few wraps we want to go down the bend we're halfway down the bend on this guy, on the hook bend. Let's snip off our excess. Okay, now I'm going to come back up. I'm going to fill that in with thread here a little because I want to get a tapered body on this guy. So I'll just fill that in to where it meets the lead, then we'll come up to about there. Now, our rib is small copper wire, so I'm going to tie that in. And I want to try to keep that on the bottom of the hook the best you can here. So just work that on the bottom. As we go down here, just like so. Okay. Go right down to where we left off with our thread here. You're going to work back up, cover that up good. Just like so. Keep our taper going here on the body. Come back down and back up. And we're going to come back down one last time. Let's stop right there. Okay, for the body, I'm using UV olive green dubbing for the body. So I'm going to take my tacky wax here and put some on the thread thread here. Get that waxed up. And we're going to start to form our noodle on our thread with our dubbing. Keep in mind that we want a tapered body on this caddis larva here, so start off small and then a little thicker towards the back of your noodle. It's like so here. Okay, get that on here. Okay, we're gonna work that up. Now I'm gonna start to wrap this. I want that first strap back there on the bend, just like so. I'm just turning the vise because it makes it a little easier to see, for me to see where I'm putting the dubbings all. And I'll bring it back around. There we go. That looks fine. Okay, now just keep wrapping up here. Okay, and we're definitely going to need some more dubbing. And a little stray fiber there I want to snip out. There we go. Okay, a little more wax on the thread. Put some more dubbing on here. Dub this on. Okay. Bring that up. I want to keep her. Taper on our body going as we go up. There, that should be fine right there, I believe. There we go, that's great, right there. So we're gonna stop that. Okay, there's our body. So I'm just gonna come in and trim off some of the real long guard hairs here of the dubbing. Okay, trim those off. A few more there. 
Okay, that's fine. Okay. Now I'm going to take my lead, or, or excuse me, my copper wire here, and I'm going to counter wrap. And I want four to five evenly spaced turns going up the body. Just like so here. There we go. And just wrap that around at the front. And we're going to tie him off the front then come behind a couple wraps then we'll lock him down good wrap back on him and we'll just helicopter him off just like so okay then wrap back to in front of our body here okay next I'm going to turn the hook upside down if you don't have a rotary device just take it out and switch it around and for the legs I'm using a pheasant body feather that has some real good molded coloration in it for the legs and I don't I want sparse legs on this guy, so I don't want a very big bunch, just a small bunch, like so. And I want to tie them in, and I'm going to pull them to length after I get them tied down. Okay, just keep that right on top there. And I want those legs nice and short, not very long. So I'm going to pull them to where I want them, right there. And I'm going to wrap back to in front of the body, just like so here. Okay, there's our legs. Actually, that's, I'm gonna back that off. That's still a little too long. I pull that a little bit more. That should be great right there. That's fine. Now I'm gonna come in and snip off the excess. There we go. Okay. I want to make sure I keep those right on top of the shank here. Now we're going to wrap back and get ready to uh, wrap in the head of our caddis larva. Okay, as you can see, the legs are really sparse and short on this guy. Okay. Okay, next is the head. And I'm using some hairline black plus dubbing has a little bit of shimmer shimmer effect in it, a little bit of sparkle not much so I'm going to dub a little more wax on here and we'll start a noodle for the hit of our larva and we'll get this dubbed on here Go. We'll see where that takes us here. Start that on. Right back towards your legs. Like so. And then we're going to come ahead. And actually, I want a little bit more on that. So, a little more wax, just a tad bit more. Not too much. Okay, I'm going to dub that on. Going to bring that up here. There we go. Okay, I got a couple of stray fibers there I want to cut out of here. Before we finish them up. There he is. Oh, there's a guard here sticking out there. Down the mountain. So there's our green caddis larva. Just gonna rough that it up a little. There we go. Okay, all it's left to do now is a couple half inches and a whip finish, and it's a done deal. So I'll bring in my half inch tool here first. Throw in a couple half inches. Snug that down. Another fiber there. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's do a four to five turn wet finish. Finish this guy up. Okay. There we go. Bring that in. Snug it down good. I'll come in, snip off my excess thread. And there we have it. 
another green caddis larva. It's got a few stray guard here as I want to get out of this guy. There we go. Well, there he is. He's a done deal. So what I'm going to do is put a couple coats of uh, Hitsman on this little guy. Okay. Come in with my Hitsman here. A simple little caddis larva pattern, but very effective. Simple tie. So there, a little drop of cement on the head there. And I'm going to see if I can bring him in to give you a little better look at him here. So, there he is. Done deal. Actually, I see a fiber there I want to cut out. There we go. So I hope you can get a chance to give this guy a tie and a try. So I want to thank you once again for watching my tutorial. I really appreciate it a lot. And if you want to see more flies in the future, just go ahead and hit that good old subscribe button there. And throw in a like too if you wish. So for now, this is Chew signing out. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. So long for now, folks.